Oh, I absolutely love it. Oh, it's, uh, it's the best feeling in the world when you start projecting the film and it gives you such a buzz to know that you're sort of part of all that. You're a small part of show business, but you're on the tail end of it. And yeah, you get a real buzz from it. I don't think people, unless they were fully interested in it, would be particularly bothered with carrying on. You've got to have that interest, that spark. And we have. Um, we wouldn't do it unless we had a passion for it. So yes, it's as much of a passion as it is a job. Tim Williamson has been the manager and projectionist of the Savoy Theatre for 11 years. Situated in Church Street, the theatre is steeped in history. It is one of the oldest and most interesting buildings in Monmouth, but has not always been a theatre. You're going back into all sorts of history. I mean, this used to be an abbey, part of the church next door. There used to be a monastery here. Um, that was gone, that was about, oh, I don't know, 1300 something or other. We shoot to 1749, I think it was, when it was the assembly rooms where they used to put little plays on. Uh, and then we shoot forward again to the early 1900s, I suppose, when it was uh, then um, very much a music hall feel to it. The old auditorium was sort of very musical orientated, which is what it was in those days, that's what they used to do. The theatre's auditorium has also housed a roller skating rink and a corn exchange. Tim's love of the history is also reflected in his passion for film. Very often when I'm doing it, I get a, a static shock off it, so I, I'm cursing it quite often. But the actual film itself, yeah, I love film. You can see what you've got, you can hold up the light and see where you are. Uh, with the DVD you can't, with videotape you can't. And it's, uh, it's nowhere near as fragile as, as a, a video is. You could damage a DVD far more easily than you could damage a film. Damage a DVD, it just won't play. But damage a bit of film or we take it out and join it together again, you probably wouldn't even notice a bit missing. It's just the feel of it, I mean, just the, the being a part of it. The handling it, the joining it together, trying to do a seamless join so when the audience are watching the film, they don't even notice a change of reel. They don't even, they're not even aware of it, which is how it should be. <laughs> Wait for the punters and the time to start, which will be about five minutes' time. We don't be late going on because we want to get home early. The building has been a focus of entertainment for over 200 years. Records suggest a theatre on the site as early as 1792 and a cinema since 1910. The theatre has been through many ups and downs in popularity, but the building is never totally empty. There is a feeling, yeah, um, the ghosts around here are probably looking and smiling and thinking, good grief, good grief, it's still here, like, you know. Yeah, and we've got uh, two or three resident ghosts. Um, there's a lady sits over there in the fourth row. Um, not that I've ever seen her, but uh, I'm told she sits there quite regularly watching the film. We've also got a shadowy shape that goes up the balcony from the foyer, just goes straight up the stairs. So there's still people from the past, very much uh, part of our little operation here. Mm -hmm. 